Good evening, thank you, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Oh, yes. Hey, what's in the box? Eh? What's in the box? He's just given it to me. Who's he? The antique expert in the studio next door. What's his name? Uh, Arthur Negligé. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Negus. Yes. Yeah, well, I was in the studio next door watching him do his antique program. I thought I might get a few good jokes. <laughs> well, you're not short of antique jokes, are you? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the night. For the night, yes. Yes, I'm glad about that. <laughs> so you met Arthur Negus, did you? In the... Yes. Now, I always get confused mm -hmm. between him and the one that married Herbert Wilcox. Uh, and an eagle. Oh, I am glad. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wilcox's wife, Arthur Nagus, yeah. is in the next studio <laughs> recording his antique programme, going for a quick one. <laughs> going for a song? Oh, he sings as well. I didn't know that. <laughs> You're interested in antiques. You've met the wife. <laughs> and you say Arthur Nagus was on the panel? Well, his doctor said he could work. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He looked at the first object mm. and he said that statue was at least 567 years old. That and was it? No, it was Max Robertson, hard and fast asleep in the chair. Oh. <laughs> was there a guest celebrity? I'd rather not say. No? No, well, he did make, he did make a fool of himself and, you know, I personally got nothing against Des O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd rather not say who no, it no. was. He didn't do any good? Hey? He didn't do any good? No idea. No idea? No idea whatsoever. He smiled, that little quirk of his, you know. Mm. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that. yeah. Did half a joke. Mm. <laughs> he said that object is, without doubt, a pair of Stone Age jockey shorts. <laughs> of course, he guessed wrong. Um, he was a mile out, of course. But the expert told him... Uh, the expert? Yes. Arthur Nuclear? Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Negus? Oh, yes. 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 He told him what it was? Oh, yes. He said, he said, without a moment's hesitation, mm -hmm. he looked at it, he said, mm -hmm. with that look on his face. What, that look, uh, You know what I mean? Yeah. He always wrinkles his nose up when he looks at it. So do I. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know what you mean. He looked at it. Yes. <laughs> he looked at it. Mm. And it's in here. It's in here. He said, what what? And well, what is it? You wouldn't believe it when I tell you. And well, what is it? The only one of his kind left in the world. Really? What is it? You won't believe it when I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and well, what is it? The only one of his kind left you, in the you world. You just said, <laughs> what is it? Do you want to know what it is? Uh, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> you won't believe it when I tell you. <laughs> this urn mm -hmm. is a genuine early 17th century Jacobean television set. An early 17th... <laughs> An early 17th century Jacobean television. Given to me by the great Arthur Nugget. <laughs> Alan Eagle. Oh. Can't you... Can't you get anybody's name right? I'm sorry, Herbert. <laughs> and that is the Jacobean television set? I've just said all that, yes. Well, I suppose you're going to tell me next it's in perfect working order. Do you know what I'm going to tell you next? What? It's in perfect working order. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? No. All right, I'll show you. <laughs> What's that? An aerial. An aerial? You wash it with her. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's them again. Yeah. They're never off, are they? I like the one with the glasses. Don't like the other one. They're good, though, aren't they? One of them is. <laughs> You're going to plug it in? Pardon? You're going to plug it in? <laughs> <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet our special guest, the star of that sensational BBC television series, Casanova, Mr. Frank Finlay. <laughs> Frank, oh, Frank. Welcome to the show. I know you're going to enjoy working with me. Yeah, as modest as ever. <laughs> I hope I'm going to enjoy working with both of you. Is it? No, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No, look, Frank, I want to talk... Don't panic. What? On mm -hmm. your left, mm -hmm. a drunk from the audience. No, it's... <laughs> Leave it to me. Don't worry about it. No. I'll fix it. Vicious plot out there. Yes, always I... Excuse me. Hello, sir! Yeah. I must say, you're not allowed up here, sir, in front of the cameras. We're expecting a guest star of the highest magnitude possible. <laughs> so if you just get back to where you belong, sir. That's all I ask. Don't want any trouble. Just back to where you belong. <laughs> to that crowd from Bolton. On the back row, sir. <laughs> just watch it, that's all, matey. I'll throw him at you. <laughs> Can I have a word with you, Eric? Huh? This is Mr. Frank Finlay, our guest star. Eric Morecambe, Frank Finlay. 
Terribly sorry. Please to me. It's the glasses. I've got them on. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you must forgive me. I'm sorry about the fracas. Yes. Yeah. It's all right to say fracas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, fracas. <laughs> They're looking it up. <laughs> Could take a week. Good. Oh, thank you. It's all right for me to say fracas. Good. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. That's very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. This is Mr. Frank Finley, our special guest star. I picked a good one this week, didn't I? How did you know he was my favourite? He's your favourite, is he? Hey, did... Did you say I was your favourite? Oh, I always said that around this time. Yes. Gosh, gosh, I I'm his favourite. <laughs> You've had all these world-famous people on your programme, you never said that to any of them. Any? No, I'm his favourite. You did mention that. Am yeah. I your favourite? Uh, you're not bad, you're all right. <laughs> never miss your programme, sir. No? Oh, never miss it. I always get excited when you're on TV, don't I? Oh, yes. Shafty, what's that? Ern? He's on! <laughs> Excuse me. When are you and Janet going to come back and do another show? <laughs> People are talking about that. Yeah. Look, now you did say pom 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 pom. Yes, I said that because you are my favourite. You're my number one. Good. Yes. Hmm. Eric. Yes. Would you like to have a word with me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, I'd like to have a word with you. Oh, excuse me. Yes. I'm going to have a word with Dandini. Good. I won't be very long. <laughs> Oh, no? <laughs> It'll come. <laughs> you must be very proud, sir. Oh, yes. I'm sorry about all that. Yes. We don't often get confused on this show. Oh, no. No, no, I've seen most of your programmes, and I know that you always treat your guests with the utmost courtesy and respect. <laughs> <laughs> this boy's just a fool. fool. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clap. <laughs> Got a wife out there? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Frank, if you just get ready for your part. Yes, yes. It's going to change. Yes. You know? And I do apologise for the fracas. Oh, just a moment, please, <laughs> yes. sir. Can he say fracas? <laughs> No, fracas. <laughs> he can't say it. It's the accent, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where do you find these? <laughs> where do you find these people, huh? <laughs> he came with his Where are you writing to? <laughs> <laughs> he came with his what? He came with his mother. Huh? Oh, did he? <laughs> well, well he's not going off with her, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just over here. Yes, enough. yes, thank you very much. Have you had enough, Frank? I'll just show you some address and you won't have any difficulty. Okay. Yeah, Eric, yes. uh, that over here, we go off this way. No, no, we always go off this side. No, not this time. We go off the dressing rooms this way. Oh, I always thought we went off this way. I know, it's all right. I'm sure we go off this way. Don't forget to smile. Smile. Oh. There's dozens of viewers watching. Yes. <laughs> the camera's over there. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I've always been a pipe man. I enjoy a good smoke at the end of the day when I have time to relax. For a good smoke, you need a good tobacco at the right price. I've discovered such a tobacco. Cool, fragrant, and most of all, the price is right. I smoke his. <laughs> Agreed. I don't think I would dispute that statement. <laughs> Very nice morning. It's my wife. Very nice. My wife. This is the man who's just said, "Very nice." <laughs> Hello. Charmed. And who wouldn't be? I mean, after all, she is Miss Rockall, 1956. <laughs> I thought Rockall was uninhabited. Well, it is, but we don't like to upset her. <laughs> Wedding anniversary. Today. 25 years. Well done. Oh, yes. <laughs> Something to celebrate the occasion. Yes, yes. Do you have a refill for the ballpoint pen, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. A stereo units. That was it. I knew it was something similar. <laughs> a shop full of stereo units. My wife likes to put gramophone records on. She has a musical bent. <laughs> you can see it from there. <laughs> Your wife enjoys good music. You've heard of the world famous black and white minstrels. Your wife? Used to be George Mitchell. <laughs> one day, yes, one day, whilst conducting one of his frantic way down south medleys, mm. the tambourine slipped, hence. Stereo sets. Wedding anniversary. Mark the occasion. Yeah. I'll show you what I've got. Please. <laughs> My wife is rather old fashioned about that kind of thing. Perhaps we could hear something on one of your stereo sets. Many years ago, there used to be a singing duo called Anne Ziegler and Webster Booth. <laughs> Remember them well? Oh, yes. Janet MacDonald and Nelson Eddy. Remember them equally as well. You must be getting on a bit. <laughs> I'll find you a record. Yes. Very efficient. Queen's Award. How do you know? Seeing the way he walks. <laughs> Does your wife like Mantovani? No, she won't go abroad. <laughs> Singing duos. Janet MacDonald and Nelson Eddy. If you and your wife would take up the best position, I'm sure you'll enjoy it all the more. <laughs> Is this uh, the best stereo unit you have in your shop? Uh, the very best, sir. Can't wait to hear it. And you will hear it loud and clear. The acoustics in this shop are first class. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna McDonald and Nelson Eddy. If you remember, in the film, Nelson played the part of a mountain and Janet MacDonald played the part of a simple country lass. I'm sorry, I can't hear you for the acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the record. Half past three. <laughs> Detail. But I 
happened to be holding this gramophone needle six inches away from the gramophone record. And Nelson Eddy and Janet MacDonald are still belting it out. <laughs> a lay question, sir. But how can this be? Uh, that is what is known in the trade as a delayed flashback on the diode input and output terminal. Ah. <laughs> delayed flashback. I was just testing you because I am a plumber. I know all about these things. Oh, I know you do, <laughs> Yes? Best I've heard. <sighs> How much? Uh, 700 pounds. <laughs> 700 pounds is a lot of money, sir. 650 pounds off for cash. Fair. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. You will deliver it, won't you? We will deliver it immediately to you, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Nelson. Bye-bye, Nelson. Bye-bye, Nelson. to it pour and with every drop of rain you know I love you more let it rain all night long let my love for you grow strong as long as we're together who cares about the weather listen to the pouring rain listen to it pour and with every drop of rain you know I love you more call my name right out loud I'll hear above the clouds and I'll hear among the puddles you Together, huddle. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head. He couldn't get up in the morning. Ooh. Listen to the falling rain, listen to it fall. Drop of rain, you know I love you more. Call my name right out loud. I'll hear above the clouds, and I'll hear among the puddles. You and I together huddle. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head. He couldn't get up in the morning. Listen to the falling rain, listen to it fall. And with every drop of rain, you know I love you more. Call my name right out loud. I'll hear above the clouds. And I'm here among the puddles. You and I together huddle. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. Listen to the pouring rain, listen to the rain. Yesterday, I saw a city full of shadows with all beauty. And I heard the steady rain just whispering your name. Whispering your listen name. Listen to the pouring rain, listen to the rain. Listen to the pouring rain, listen to the rain. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. Listen to the falling rain, listen to the rain. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet once again the man who, through his work on television, has earned himself the title of the world. Greatest lover. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes. I heard you mention the name, the world's greatest lover. I came out immediately. You? I thought, hello, Ada Bailey's been talking again. I thought. <laughs> Ada Bailey? Oh, yes. Don't take the Mickey out of Ada. She thinks the world of me, Ada does. We all know Ada does. <laughs> <laughs> A cunning little Bob. <laughs> you know what the trouble with you is? You're so conceited. You're so full of yourself. Why don't you show a little humility once in a while? Now, get off. <laughs> <laughs> Just get off. 
<laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet a man who threw his meteoric <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet a special guest who's had a meteoric <laughs> rise into international stardom. <laughs> meteoric rise into international stardom. A three meteoric rises, fellas. <laughs> Into international stardom. <laughs> Not is that old. <laughs> Surpassed only by myself. Oh, God, and he means it as well. <laughs> the star of Casanova, Mr. Frank Finlay. <laughs> Mr. Finlay, you are indeed a special guest. My pleasure. I know, I saw every episode. <laughs> Now, don't you start. Oh, sorry. I had enough yeah. with the other fool. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Finlay, what was it that uh, made you want to appear in my version of Casanova? Well, there were three factors that decided it for me. Really? Your reputation as a writer. Of course. Your modern approach to drama mm. and production. Mm. But most of all, and I say this with all sincerity, yes. I needed the money. <laughs> money? Yes. Yeah, I like the outfit. Oh, yes, yes. This, in fact, <laughs> is an exact replica mm. of the actual clobber that Casanova wore. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's very natty. Yeah. And very I'll tell natty. you something else, Ernie White. Right. I've got the book here with all the addresses of the girls <laughs> that I've... How do you do? Evening. <laughs> I've got the address book here. <laughs> yes. The meat is under the stairs. <laughs> Why did you come at this peculiar hour? Oh, this is Mr. Frank. This is Mr. Frank. This is Mr. Frank Finlay, our special guest. I've done it again. Yeah, of course you have. Put your foot in. <laughs> Terribly sorry. It's the glasses. I'm sorry about yeah. that. Well, I'm sorry, Frank. Don't really let it worry you. No, no. Yeah. Frank Finlay, yeah. alias Bossanova. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh. eh? No. Up and over. No. Oh. <laughs> Roll me over. No. Casanova. Ah, well, I was closest with roll me over, wouldn't you think? <laughs> roll me over. You think? Yes. Sir? Yes? Yes. yes? No, not you, your brother. Oh. <laughs> My older brother. Yes. <laughs> Sir, you have written a play for me. Yes, I've written this play especially for you. In this, of course, you will play the part of Casanova, the great lover. Fine, I'll go get changed immediately. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Finley's gonna play the part. Why him? Well, I did play the part on television. Oh, yes, you did play the part on television. <laughs> That's the operative word, play, isn't it? You only acted it. I do it for real, matey. For some girls' addresses in here, it will make you grow grey immediately. <laughs> Who is this? Ada Bailey. 36 and Harry Aston Street. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. 22 Oldham Terrace. <laughs> Helen Gartell. Four Edgemore Road. <laughs> Cyril Gaylor. 17 Bentham Place. Uh, <laughs> well, he's the man I hired the prop from for the play. Oh, I see. Prop? Oh, yeah, prop. well, there's 45 girls in this play, you know. You may need a prop by the time it's finished. <laughs> I've seen three or four of them. Yeah, you could need a splint as well. <laughs> well, we're ready to start when yes. you are, Frank. Now, this is the costume I wear for the opening scene. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes that's right, because yes. we need all the last we can get. Good. <laughs> what I want to know is... Yes? And don't be offended at this. I oh, won't. No, I couldn't. It's uh, too late now, anyway. <laughs> yeah. What I was going to say was, uh, have you got a funny walk that will go with that costume? No, I haven't. Oh, what a pity, because oh, we booked him for this funny that, walk. Yes, yes. it's true. Oh. Shall I go? Uh, yes, I think you'd better go and stand in the wings and stand there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I thought he didn't have a funny walk. He gets some big laughs with that, won't he? He'll get belly laughs when he comes yeah. on dressed like that in a few days. <laughs> well, are you ready? I'm ready. All 45 look. girls. Beautiful. All waiting for me. All waiting for you. I'm driving them home in the bus, am I? This is your big night. Um, you're right. I'll go get changed for the part. OK. And I'll be glucose. <coughs> All right. <laughs> hey, yes? aren't you going to, uh... Eh? You know, uh... What? Well, when aren't you... I what? Going to, uh... Well, if you want, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not.
one. A civil word. I've yet to meet a man worthy of one. Are you the serving wench? And who might you be in all your finery? I am Viscount Earn of Peterborough. <laughs> Here, are you the one who ordered this private room? Yes, I'm expecting my friend any moment now. Are you going to be serving upon us? Provided you can keep your hands to yourself. Shush, well, I do assure you, my... You own. can assure me <laughs> of nothing. Yes. All you men are the same. Go away, go away. Ah, oh, that'll be my friend now. <laughs> Quincy Morgan, 4th Duke of Harpenden. <laughs> Without portfolio. <laughs> but my doctor is working on it. <laughs> I'm third in line, you know. And I wish the other two would hurry up. I can't wait much longer. <laughs> I presume you are the serving hatch. <laughs> what do you find, a man? Another lovely mover. <laughs> Good to see you, De Quincy. I didn't know you were hard of hearing. <laughs> Please sit down. Speak up. Just as you wish. Half past three. <laughs> <sighs> Read this, De Quincey. <laughs> Would you like to uh, borrow my... Uh... No, no, no. I have one of my own here. No way. Have you seen what this note says? It's from uh, Casanova. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Casanova. Yes, he seeks another conquest in the city tonight. Not, not your beautiful twin sister, Honor. Yes, my beautiful twin sister, Honor. Ah. Well, I intercepted a letter he sent by word of mouth. That's clever. <laughs> he has a tryst. Well, you're all right then, aren't you? <laughs> If he's wearing one of those things, he won't be able to stand up, let alone anything else. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is, little Viscount. <laughs> he's meeting my twin sister, Honor, yes? tonight, in his private chamber, upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must get some silver paper and foil him. <laughs> silver paper and foil him! A medieval joke. <laughs> Will you help me? No, I think it's me who needs help after a joke like that. <laughs> Of course I'll help you, little Viscount. Of course I will. <laughs> to help your sister's honours, honours, honour. Ah, good fellow, good fellow, good fellow. Oh, blackout. <laughs> yes? There's a man outside with a funny face. Well, go tell him you've got one. <laughs> Another gem. Oh, that's a good one. the dust. <laughs> that's a good one, Quincy. Hey, oh. listen, he calls himself Casanova. <laughs> pum, 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 pum. <laughs> and he's got a funny walk. Haven't we all? Oh, my God, oh, how very charming. How very charming. Oh, yeah, how don't you come that game with oh, me. I hate men. Oh. Mr. Casanova! I can't Peter Barnborough. No, no, Viscount Earn of Peterborough. Oh, Get it right, old yeah. boy. <laughs> we were very close. Oh, okay. Nine out of ten for effort. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eric de Quincy Morkham, fourth Duke of... Ah, to the back. The back? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm doing too much bending down. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Frank's with that. Do you sit down, Mr. Casanova? Yeah, thank Casanova. you very much. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Order something, will you? Yes, I will. That's a good idea. Mm. Serve me winch. <laughs> I would like three tankards of mead. Are you hungry? Yes. Three tankards of mead and a poached swan on toast. <laughs> <laughs> be, be careful where you put the feathers. <laughs> and don't be too long, you exciting woman. Men. <laughs> she didn't appear to be smitten with your technique, oh, Mr. Casanova. Oh, believe me, beneath that cold exterior, her womanliness was boiling and bubbling with a fervor that most men would not be able to keep up with. <laughs> you mean she's a raver? Oh, mustard. <laughs> mustard, you say? Yes, mustard. Huh? Tell me, tell me, Mr. Casanova. Call me this... Giacomo. I'd rather call you Casanova. I, I can't see. say Giacomo. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, Mr. Giaconori. <laughs> Is this your first visit to London? No, it is indeed. What do you think of the British climate? I found it very close last night. You're lucky. I was out nothing. <laughs> you get close to anything. Here's your mate. Prove that this one is a raver, yes, if on, I may ask. I will indeed, if you want. Well, go on, go well, young man. Yes. Well, look, a little, little silver bottle he's got. Silver bottle. Yeah. Who's going to pay for the meat, then? Hello. <laughs> Kiss me! 
me! Kiss me! Uh, certainly, my dear. Excuse me. Just, just a moment, please. You've got my stick caught up in here. <laughs> Too much for me. Mr. Jack and Laurie, please, can I just... Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Happy now? Ecstasy! Who's going to pay for there the meat? Are, I'll pay for it myself! Well, well. You've got it made, though, haven't you? Yes! Yes, You don't I... even have to leave a chip, do you? No, I don't. No. No. no, I think I curried her favours. You very nearly cut her all the dumplings, I'll tell you that. <laughs> She's never worked that well with us before. Yeah. And there you are. You see, you've seen the great Casanova at work. That is true. Incredible, incredible. Oh, yes. Yes. Tell me, Mr. Jackadori. Yes. <laughs> what brings you to London? I'd be perfectly frank with you. Yes? I have a long-felt want. <laughs> No answer to that, is it? <laughs> I believe the most beauteous maiden in this city is a mistress honor. That is true. Yes, yes, yes. Do you intend to, um... I'm Casanova. Of course I intend to. <laughs> well, all I can say is that she's a sweet, innocent young girl. Does I mean... this maid of honor mean something to you? Oh, no, no, nothing, no, never. Oh, good Lord, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's snuff-taking time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, sir, sir. Would you care for half a hootiful? Uh, <laughs> no. no, no, thank you. Oh, do, you do you mind if I indulge? Not at all. That's very kind. Thank you. That's Frankie Vaughan. Come back for the stick. <laughs> yes. Tell me, when do you intend to perpetrate this lascivious deed upon the sweet and innocent honor? This very night. I would like to do attention to the fact that she's had a vicarage upbringing. That is true, a vicarage upbringing, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, father was the vicar of St. Bernard. That's true. You can't miss him. Always had the collection box hanging around his neck. <laughs> Are you finished? Hey. Uh, yes. Go away, please. Get Go out, away. Get out, woman. Get out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> My yeah, now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he drank from the single bottle, she went berserk. I, I noticed that. Yes. I noticed that, my little Viscount friend. <laughs> I think we should try and get our hands on that silver bottle before he gets on his hands on my twin sister, Orla. How can we do that? I've got a plan. Really? You must disguise yourself as his manservant. Oh. And I will disguise myself twin sister, Orla. <laughs> see, I'll be the manservant. But don't forget, you see, I mean, he is cussing over. And he's very quick. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're in a woman's outfit and he takes you to the bedroom, and before you know where you are, it might be a touch of the hello, folks, and what about the work? Pardon? <laughs> he is cussing over. And he's very quick. <laughs> and he might take you to the bedroom, you see, you being dressed up as a woman. And before you know where you are, it might be a hello, folks, and what about the workers? I don't understand. <laughs> well, he is cussing over. <laughs> and he's extremely quick. <laughs> and you will be dressed as a woman, and he might throw you onto the bed, you see, and it could be a touch of the hello, folks, and what about the workers? <laughs> I really don't know what you mean. Well, if you don't know what I mean, you deserve everything you flame and well get. Oh, you ravishing preacher. I fail to see how even the prudent Miss Honor will be able to resist me. Oh, yes, I think there may well be yet another notch upon the old bedpost before the night is through. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm here, sir. Oh, here. Sir? 
What's the matter, you deaf? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? What are you? Ah, sir! I am your manservant, sir! I didn't ask for a manservant. How well, whether you did or not, you've got one now, sir. <laughs> I, haven't I seen you somewhere before? No! This is my best disguise. You look just like that idiot downstairs. Oh? Yes. Ah, yes, but is he, is he wearing glasses? He is. He is? Yes. Is he my size? He's about your size. Does he have a northern accent? He has a northern accent. Oh. But, be honest, sir. Yeah? Does he look like me? He looks exactly like you. Only you've got more hair. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I need a manservant. Uh, it's a custom in our country, sir. I'm here to arrange your knickknacks. I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's if you brought them with them. I presume you brought them with you. No, I'm entertaining a lady. Well, you'll need them then, won't you? <laughs> you'll need them, you see. <laughs> right. yes. What's that? Ah, this, sir. This is guaranteed to send the ladies berserk. It's called Stallion. <laughs> stallion? Stallion. Stallion? All the way from Sweden. Oh, is it good, that stallion? Is it good? I took this with me, sir, on my holidays to Blackpool. I sprayed myself once, and a donkey followed me home back to my dig. <laughs> Fantastic. Hmm? Yes, it is. Yes. Most powerful. Where's the bed? What? The bed. There. Never mind, this will do. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. It's <laughs> pretty good. What do you feel? Yes. Well, thank you for the scent and the spray. I don't think I need you any more this evening. Ah, oh, but you might, sir, because uh, the beautiful Mistress Honor may be here any moment now, oh, sir. Yes. And uh, <laughs> you've got um, powder on your whisker. Oh, good heavens. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> That's all right, sir. Yes? I've done the switch. Have you? You mean... <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready when you are? One, two, three, four. <laughs> now tell me. Describe this honour to me. Oh. Describe her beauty. I've never seen them, sir. <laughs> We'd only be conjecture on my part. I see. And in my opinion, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Underneath <laughs> the arch. <laughs> well, then I can't wait. I can't wait to see the beautiful maid of honour. That could be her now. Oh, good. <laughs> I go let him or her in. Good. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, yes. The beautiful Mistress Honor. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, uh, This is honour, sir. Honour? Yeah. This is the man who's having trouble with his eyes. <laughs> Charmed. <laughs> Be honest, what do you think? Even more beautiful than I had imagined. Keep your hand on your holiday money tonight. Uh... <laughs> Where are you going? Tell it, my love, you know who I am. You yes. know that I I'm Casanova, don't you? <laughs> I come all the way from Venice. Yes. Especially to see you. Yes. Did you know that? Yes, couldn't you we just... Yeah. He's you know got that? his hand on me bottom. Pretend <laughs> you don't like it! <laughs> my love, my love. Please, uh, I have secrets. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to sit down. <laughs> yeah. My darling, please stop messing about. You know, whatever happens, you must yield to me. Please, sir, oh. unhand me, sir. I haven't touched you. I... My love. I am but oh, a... Oh, what eyes. Please, what beauty. please. Yes. I am but a weak. Helpless woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I like a woman with spirit. Please, please, please. Extreme situations call for extreme measures. The bottle. Get me the bottle. No, don't Quick, man, sir. The body up. Don't belong. Don't get in the bottle. Don't belong. There you are, sir. Oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, it's worth waiting for. Yes. Mm. Mm. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Honey? Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, no strange sensation, no ting. Ting? Yes. I think, I don't want to say anything, sir, but I think your ting's had it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, we'll have to use brute force on the back. Hello, 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 Wait a minute, what are you doing? I thought you
No, 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 I'll tell you. No, have you got another one? This is a good one. Go on, go on. Better than the other. Yeah, but the two old men sitting in a deck chair. Yes. No, but it's close. Two men sitting in deck chairs. Oh, I said to the other. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't say that. Why not? No, well, we tried to do that a long time ago, and we were banned. Yes. That was a word I was looking for. We were. We were definitely banned. And anyway, quite honestly, there is time. It's very late. It's Frank. It's been lovely working with you. It's been a great pleasure. Whoever you are, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you. Much well, mm. yes, well, all I can say, in all yeah. sincerity, mm. is I hope I never see you again. Thank yeah, you very much. Well, 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 Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness So much joy you can give To each brand new ride tomorrow Make me happy Through the years And never bring me Any tears Let your arms be as warm As the sun from up above Bring me fun Bring me sunshine Bring me love 